My name is Angie Murphy and I'm the Vice Principal at North and South S Regional High School. The benefits of teaching the mental health curriculum to students is to improve their mental health awareness and their mental health literacy. Students did a project on famous people with uh, mental illness and they got to choose their person and basically they highlighted who the person was, what their significant contribution to the world is, and um, the mental health disorder that they have. And this was a, and we put it up out in the hallway, it made a display to share with all of our students. And it was really an eye-opening experience for students because there was a lot of people that they were familiar with. We put a series of quotes up around the room and uh, they all had to do with stress and the importance of uh, facing your stress and getting outside your comfort zone. Um, with that, uh, they seemed to know, uh, they identified with one of the quotes and they, they wrote insightful little notes about what it means and, and how you can uh, push yourself to become more resilient and to deal with things that cause you stress. My name is Alyssa Mitten. I'm a grade 8 teacher at North and South Esk Regional High School. We did a lesson, a woman lesson on uh, the health triangle, which was a really great activity with the kids. I heard a lot of really good feedback about how they enjoyed learning about the vocabulary and where they placed on the tiers of the triangle. So the triangle is broken up into uh, three or four tiers, depending on how you want to look at it. But that bottom tier is kind of your everyday stressors and students are experiencing those um, and sometimes assigning them as mental disorders or health issues when really they're just normal stressors and I think it was really important for the, the students to to learn about um, that they are normal healthy everyday life experiences. So we uh, wanted to incorporate a few 21st essential skills into um, the learning and uh, just incorporating technology into uh, their activities so we um, went online to uh, a free picto chart or infographic designing um, software and the students were able to research a breathing technique or stress reducing technique that they could use in everyday life to help with uh, some of the pressures and coping. Uh, and they did a wonderful job of researching the techniques and making those infographics that uh, we're going to be laminating uh, across our school to help promote uh, wellness and uh, stress reducing strategies. Um, when we first looked at our health outcomes, we realized that the mental health curriculum would cover half of the outcomes in grade 8 health. Um, we decided to have students build portfolios. So at the beginning of their portfolio, we created a series of I can statements and at the end of each module, we had them justify if how they were able to meet each one of the health outcomes. And so they did create a portfolio and we're encouraging them to take the portfolio home and to share it uh, with their families. We marked product conversation and observation. So we were observing them as they were uh, participating in class and when they were completing their activities. Uh, the conversations, we listened in on the conversations and we often joined in on the conversations about mental health. And students would present individually, sometimes they would get up with as a part of a group and they were surprisingly comfortable sharing in front of the class. We have 31 students and none of them um, asked to present just to the teacher. They were all comfortable getting up and sharing uh, on sometimes what was a difficult topic for them, for them to discuss. Um, something that really stuck with me doing it was that um, one in five teens are diagnosed with mental disease and some people don't realize how common it is. Start at any age and it's good to learn about it in school so we can find ways to prevent it and cope with it. My favorite assignment that we did in this unit was famous people living with mental illness. I think that it should be taught in all schools in the district in fact the world because there's a lot of stigma around it that people don't know and they should know the realities rather than the myths. I think it should be taught in a lot of the school's curriculums because at a young age you need to know things so you can watch out so you don't use stigma on a daily basis or if you realize that you might have one that you can seek help. 